Hello, I'm JW. This time we're going to have a look at these things. Uh, this won't take uh, very long. These are hot plug indicators. Now the company that makes these uh, also does a variety of other products for cables and various other things, but uh, these are actually for plugs. So let's have a quick look at these and uh, see if we can get one to do what it's supposed to do. Now these are relatively simple things. They're actually uh, self-adhesive labels and in their supplied state the middle is a light pink colour and then the idea is that when these get hot, in fact over 52 degrees centigrade, then the middle turns red and most importantly it stays red permanently even if the temperature then decreases afterwards. And the idea of these is that you stick them on the back of a plug, got a plug here, and then if the plug should overheat due to a faulty connection or whatever inside then it will obviously show that that has occurred and you don't have to obviously be there at the time it's got hot because of course uh, if you uh, had something overheated and then the appliance was turned off later of course it might not be obvious that the overheating had occurred so kind of a permanent indication there to uh, suggest that something is wrong and I've got the dramatic picture here of flames or whatever coming out so uh, a bit of uh, marketing uh, rubbish on there as well so uh, let's take this out of here so there's the stickers themselves get 20 in this particular pack and uh, have a look on the back of here Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, deteriorating or overloaded plugs and things may present fire risks and these uh, provide early warning of elevated temperatures before plastic insulation damage and long before the development of a fire and whatever else. And uh, as it says at the bottom here, if the uh, lower turns red then uh, switch off and obviously uh, get it repaired or whatever else. And as it says at the bottom, these can actually measure an extra fire risk and are not a substitute for electrical safety checks or fire risk assessments and all of that. It's purely just an indication that something has got too hot and therefore could be some kind of problem in there. Now this is the kind of plug they're intended to be used on, although of course uh, other plugs are available, but uh, these being a UK product are designed to fit onto these. And uh, for those that don't know, which is probably everybody who does not live in the UK, if have a look inside of these. Three terminals there for the line neutral and the earth connection and there's a fuse in here which can be various values from uh, 1 to 13 although 3 and 13 are the most common values and it's important to realize that fuses in normal operation do give off some heat simply the fact that there's a very thin wire inside there which has a certain amount of resistance if you pass current through resistance of course it will give off some heat and uh, fuses in general uh, can actually go off to up to about one watt of heating there so in normal use, if you've got a fairly high load on, like a 13 amp per uh, electric fire or something, that's around 3 kilowatts, then uh, plugs can get warm in normal use, but certainly they shouldn't be getting hot, and if it's too hot to touch then basically something has gone horribly wrong. Loose connection is uh, very common there, or possibly like the fuse holders have uh, gone a bit weak or someone's put the inappropriate fuse in there which doesn't fit properly. So warm in normal operation, uh, certainly uh, not a problem, but certainly getting hot if it's hot to touch then clearly that is not good enough. And the idea with these is that you just stick one on the back of the plug, so just take one there and we can then just apply it to the back of the plug here. So we just press on into a position there. And of course these do rely on people actually looking at these things so uh, not going to be of much use in some instances, so if you say uh, had a domestic installation this was stuck behind a cupboard or something where no one ever looked, well probably not, but uh, more intended for places where people are actually going to look at these things and take note and uh, if it goes red actually uh, take some kind of action as in getting whatever is attached to this repaired or replaced. Now we don't have anything connected to this plug and we're not going to be uh, heating it up and melting it inside, but uh, what we can do is just heat this up with some hot air just to see what the effect of the elevated temperature is. So I've got the uh, hot air thing here, it does make a certain amount of noise, so uh, this is only set to 100 degrees centigrade which is the lowest this machine actually goes to, but uh, if we heat it up we should see the uh, colour change there. So let's just apply that to it. Yep, and there we go. So straight away, you see that's now gone red. And most importantly it's staying red after the temperature has obviously gone away. So this is now Basically perfectly cold, and as you see, it's staying the red colour. And I'll just compare that to one of the others. Pretty obvious and uh, striking difference. And let's face it, it's uh, fairly obviously the red fault condition there, rather than uh, the pale pink we started with. So that's basically how those work. 
a very simple idea and say just gives that a visual indication of something uh, actually having something wrong with it and I so say they do make these for cables and things as well so uh, might be worth considering in uh, certainly some applications so it does obviously require that someone is actually going to look at these and think oh something's wrong with it so uh, not necessarily going to be useful if the plug obviously is hidden away out of sight so that's pretty much it for this video nothing uh, too uh, surprising about these but certainly uh, fairly inexpensive way of indicating problems on say the back of a plug or adapter or whatever else and say so they do make these for going on cables and things as well again works in the same way just changes color if an excessive temperature is reached so that's it for this time until next time thanks for watching